So my name is Soma. I work for Google in London, and I'm a developer advocate for Chrome and, in general, the web platform. Mobile websites are just a really direct way to get a user into your experience, whatever you want to offer to them, because there's no installation process, there's no um, requirements for the system. You just open them up and they start working right away. And that's so frictionless that it turned out to be super good at convincing you just to take a closer look at what you have to offer. Um, and it's a really good platform, and that's why Google has been working on that to make it even more powerful. So I think, I feel there's been a lot of confusion around the PWA buzzword because it's not that you have to use a certain technology to be a PWA. It's mostly about improving the user's experience. So make your app work well, even when the network is flaky, be high performance, have a good visual representation, and be smooth in your animations. All these little things that make the user feel like they're actually using an app rather than just a scrolling document. Um, and that is just what PWA is really about. And part of that are the new technologies on the web that make achieving this goal easier than it has been in the past. So luckily, I, my, my job basically is to be a web developer. So I just build things. And I, I just tend to use what other developers use to figure out why it is so appealing to them and then try to figure out what of these things need to remain as a tool and what of these things could actually be powered off the web platform. So I've been playing around with Webpack and with React, but also just trying to rebuild what these frameworks and tools are doing by just using vanilla JavaScript and whatever there is on the platform and trying to come up if it is faster that way or slower that way or more painful to use that way and figuring out the differences. And so I just have an editor, I have a web server, and I just build things and see where I end up. So as I said, I try new things all the time, but one of my focuses for the next couple of months, I guess, is that I want to build web apps that ha work off the main thread. That sounds a little bit ominous, but basically I want my browser experience to always be responsive. I don't never have the feeling that I'm scrolling and nothing is happening. It should always respond immediately, and that is one way of achieving that. And in connection with that, there is devices coming out that have 120 hertz screens, which is fairly new, but that means you have even less time to do any calculations on a device. So you need to write really code in a very specific way to have this really high frame rate, which makes a big difference in how the app appears. So you can really tell the difference if a device is running at 60 or 120 hertz. And 120 just seems so much more smooth that you really want to try to get there. I think that it's a massive space that is really hard to like just wrap your head around. It's a lot of exploration that have to be done. Uh, I think in terms of UI and UX design, both voice-based interfaces and augmented reality are a completely new perspective on what we have done so far because on the one hand, you now have to represent information in a audible way and also take audio as input, which has never, usually you have touch input or mouse input, and now it's voice. So that's interesting because there is no drag and drop with voice, for example. So how do you do things? Uh, augmented reality, you have the real world and you try to overlay information that is useful but not overwhelming to the user. So there's lots of exploration that has to be done. And machine learning is super interesting just in the sense that on the one hand, you have a huge responsibility of removing biases and making sure that it doesn't go astray. And on the other hand, you don't really understand how it's working, just that it is working. It can be super powerful, but I don't quite know how much it's going to affect the web just yet. I feel in the long run it definitely will, but it's really hard to wrap my head around it just now.